Good evening, good afternoon, good morning. Today I would like to show you how to make this cap dump. Very simple cap dump. Simplest cap dump I've ever seen. Using two diodes, a gas discharge chamber, just a spark gap, and a cap. This one's 250 volts, 47 UF. So obviously what we need first is a cap. So Get your cap. So that's the, we need our diodes. Got some diodes. I'd like to know what these are. I'll tell you. I'll put a link somewhere to the diodes. They're very good diodes, very high speed diodes. And we need the gas discharges. These are rated for 75 volts. 75 volts. So when the cap, which is rated for 250 volts, when the cap reaches 75 volts or probably about it's been doing it about 80, anywhere between 80 and 90 volts. The, uh, the gas discharge spark gap sparks and sends that 80 volts to whatever it is you're trying to charge. So first things first, you take your, take your diodes and you make a half bridge, I guess it's called. So you get them pointing different directions. So one's pointing that way and one's pointing this way. And I just twisting them together. I suppose you could solder them or join them in different ways, but... I'm just twisting them, twisting them together. Very simple. Twist, 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 yeah? So then what that gives you is it gives you a single line in which splits into two outs. So in this method, we're using the one wire method. This all comes from Joel Logais. He's the guy who showed me how to do this and I've been experimenting with it and it's very interesting. I've got a couple of spark gaps going on down here and they've been firing into a capacitor just to test it, just to make sure they're actually working. But anyway, continue. So you've got one in and you've got your two outs. AC in, DC out, positive, negative, positive, negative. Yeah. Next thing I do is I take my cap and I make sure the cap is also going the same way so the negative of the cap is always the line the stripe the side with the stripe on it yeah and I join that to the diode which is pointing towards me pointing away from the direction of which way you want to go so that's the negative cap isn't it so again just go for a twist 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 actually with the negative because the spark gaps going on the negative I'll actually I'll attach the spark gap first to the uh, capacitor because the leg of the capacitor is a little bit thicker so it's actually easier to wrap the spark gap on. So again, I'm just twisting, pardon me, twisting the spark gap together with the negative leg of the capacitor. All right, that's all we're doing. And then point that away because that's going to be your negative out. Okay, that's the negative going out. And now I can also wrap on the negative of the diode leg as well onto that as well get it nice and tight I've got some air uh, pliers if I want to give it an extra squeeze just to make sure it's really tight doing this on video is not it's not so convenient normally I would make sure this is perfect but just to show you an example okay so you got your negative from the, di the negative diode going to the cap. When the cap reaches over the breakdown limit of the spark gap, when the spark gap sparks, it's going to discharge through the cap. So anyway, I'm just joining together the, the positive leg with the positive of the cap as well. Just make sure they twist together nice and well. Uh, twist them good. So that's your positive. That's the positive out. That's the negative out. So that's where you attach your outs to. And you have your one wire coming in from there. And that's it. Like I say, all from Joel. Go check him out. He is very inspiring and helping out a lot of people with trying out new ideas about how we can charge or use power in creative ways, interesting ways. So I would say this is the, uh, what should we call it, the Joel Gap. The Joel Gap, yeah? I'm calling it the Joel Gap, and it's a uh, very good. It's the best spark gap I've seen. I've tried 
spark gaps with zener diodes on the out leg here. You could put a zener diode there, you could do, but with the zeners you need to have higher amperage to get it to let the electricity through. But with a spark gap, generally if it hits the, the, the breakdown, the spark will jump across. You don't need so much amperage, so you can use it for this passive electricity, sort of static electricity charging things. Let me know if you've got any questions. Have a good day. Bye-bye.